discussed about what is ERP, and uh, today we will discuss about what is the introduction to Dynamics 365. In general, we will call it as a Dynamics 365. The full form, the full name is Microsoft Dynamics 365. It is, it is uh, from the Microsoft. Uh, like we had uh, other uh, multiple ERPs, right? So this is one of the popular uh, ERP which is in the market. And the, coming to the specifications and the, spe the difference, how does it make from the other ERPs? Is, the Microsoft Dynamics 365 is completely cloud-based. So when I say completely cloud-based, earlier most of the software used to will have to install the software that will call it as on-premise software. Where in case if you want to use the ERP, it has to be installed in your server, and there should be a dedicated server. It has to be installed in your, uh, you know, uh, the laptops or the system machines, right? But here, the Microsoft Dynamics has developed completely cloud-based, where uh, it is, it is similar to Facebook, like Gmail. We can access with the password and Gmail, right? So similarly, even here also, Microsoft Dynamics 365 can be easily accessible with the user login details and it is it is not necessary that it is to you have to install the dynamics 365 software right and it also supports a lot of latest features it comes with the ai features and uh, as usual like you know the most commonly used functionalities or the modules like finance and operations supply chain management hr uh, you know uh, customer uh, now we'll call it as a customer engagement earlier it used to be crm but crm or ce in both the ways it is going to help you out right apart from that it also had added a lot of uh, you know latest uh, you know features with the help of power platform so most of the companies i mean microsoft power they have, they have developed a power platform as well so this power platform has again multiple such modules like power bi which is used for reporting purpose and power automate workflow uh, that is mostly used for workflows not only workflows there are um, most of the activities which are uh, which are which requires any uh, low coding or no, non no coding related activities right so that that is possible with the help of power bi and uh, you know power platform applications so microsoft dynamics can be easily integrated with all such or they have basically they have created an ecosystem right uh, like Power Automate, Power Flow, and uh, the virtual chat, I mean, chat boards you can create. And apart from that, you can integrate with any other uh, tools as well, right? Any other third party ISVs in case if you're, uh, the company is using. Uh, even that can be easily integrated with Microsoft Dynamics 365. It is not necessary that you should stop using other uh, the third party tools or ISVs. So it can be easily integrated with the help of Power Platform. So that is one of the most uh, advantage of using the Microsoft Dynamics 365. And uh, it also supports the e-commerce applications where you can develop, you can, uh, the, if, if you are mostly focused on the e-commerce related or any supply chain management related, it, it supports, these are the module specific that have the commerce, customer engagement, finance and operations, human resources, sales and marketing, supply chain management, manufacturing, production, all such functionalities Microsoft, I mean, Dynamics 365 supports. And this is for the large enterprises. Apart from that large enterprises, if there are any other small or mid-sized enterprises or right, organizations, this is something called as a business central. Even business central is also Microsoft Dynamics product. But micro, D365 is for the large enterprises. And commerce, that is mostly focused on any retail stores, in case if customer is into retail stores, like Reliance, I'm, um, uh, you know, uh, many such, you know, big buzzer, they have got into retail stores, right? So there is a separate uh, ERP or uh, it's a separate license that has to be procured. That is for them. That will call it as a D365 commerce. And customer engagement that mostly focuses on customer relationship, analytics, voice analytics is here, and any other sales and marketing, right? Uh, that again, it, it also connects with the field service. So like, as we were discussing most, uh, there are a few service-based companies, right? Uh, whose activities involves into field-related activities like Wi-Fi services, installations, and this is all such, you know, activities which are most mostly focused on the customer engagement related or the, uh, as a part of customer engagement, again, there are a lot of such sub subtopics are there. That will, in case if you want to get into Dynamics 365, these are the fields which are available 
right? These are the modules that you should be aware. Like commerce, customer engagement, finance and operations, HR. HR is a HR, sales and marketing, supply chain management. These are part of finance and operations itself. The tool, it will be totally different for the commerce, customer engagement, business center. But within finance and operations, HR, sales and marketing, supply chain management, general ledger, accounts payable, accounts receivable, fixed assets, taxation, all these modules will be covered within finance and operations. But licenses has to be procured separately in case if you wanted to use manufacturing or production supply chain management as well. So that is a flexibility that you know Microsoft offers. It is not necessary that you should uh, purchase licenses for uh, the entire Microsoft Dynamics 365. So as per your requirement, in case if you want, if you are using only Dynamics 365 finance and operations, then you can uh, procure or you can purchase the license only for the, the spe module specific. But the tool, the access will be given the, for the entire tool. So, but the licenses can be purchased as per your requirement. And it also supports a lot of, yeah, as we were discussing, these are a few, uh, it's the tools that are, uh, that comes under Microsoft Dynamics 365. The sales, marketing, customer service. So below this customer service, customer service, customer voice, field service, customer insights, right? all this comes under the customer engagement. So in the last slide we were discussing, right? Or CRM, earlier it used to be CRM, now it is customer engagement. So right from sales, marketing, customer service, still customer insights. All this will comes under the customer engagement module. And right on the left side, here you can, here you can see, from finance, so business central, that is again for the mid-size organizations, that is completely different. And within Dynamics 365, right? So finance, HR, supply chain management, so these modules are covered and commerce that is again uh, we need to procure a separate license for commerce and uh, there is one more that, that is called as a project operations in case of the organization that is mostly focused on the project based right so they can use this project operations mostly like in case if they're into it development like you know software development related companies will be there right so they mostly use this project operations and apart from that, there are multiple such modules like fraud protection and recently they started this field service as well. So all these products will come under the Microsoft Dynamics 365. And being, uh, as you know, we were discussing the mostly, the most important thing that is about the career opportunities, right? So in case if you're uh, from any commerce background or engineering background, so either you can choose a, either finance and operations, See, it is not necessary that you should come from the commerce background, but yeah, basics, having the understanding of the basic accounting knowledge that will, uh, that is most important being a you know, finance consultant. Apart from that finance, con uh, so within finance and operations, so it starts with the you know, core uh, accounting process, right? So that it is all, it is necessary that you should have a basics of accounts, even that also we are going to cover. Uh, so once you start, you know, learning the basics of accounts, you should be able to understand how does the finance works and how is it connected with the, uh, how the financial, how is the financial impact that happens. Uh, there are a lot of activities that happens in any of the business, right? At the end of the day, it is connected with the, the P&L and the balance sheet. So all those dots that we are going to discuss in the coming slides or in the coming videos about the, once we start, you know, Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operations. Thank you so much for watching and uh, we will continue in the next videos about the Dynamics 365 finance and operations.